welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing round two of my fall decorating and today we're going to be styling my living room. If you're new to my channel, we are building a house right now. So we are in an apartment that we've built in a pole barn on our property. So we are very limited on space. So I'm going to show you how to style a living room and make it cozy even if it is a very small space. From our last house, I brought in two of our bookshelves. So I'm going to be styling those today. I also brought in our fireplace so I'll have that to style and we're also going to style up the coffee table I have a little side table the couch and I'm gonna do a fun gallery wall so hopefully this video will give you lots of cozy decorating ideas go ahead and grab yourself a cup of coffee or hot tea or whatever fall drink you are craving I'm still loving the Starbucks ice brown sugar shaken espressos with pumpkin cold foam on top so good if you haven't tried it you definitely should but i'm so excited because today's video is in collaboration with my good friend holly over at simply lake and lace if you guys know holly she is a bundle of joy she is so fun to follow they actually just built their home and they moved in so it's been so fun to see the process of them building moving in she's done a ton of vlogs showing what they've picked out how they designed the house and then just fun daily life stuff i'm really excited to get to collaborate with with her today. I think she's gonna be decorating her bedroom and bathroom for fall. So I'll have her video linked down below so you guys can go check it out, show her some love, make sure you subscribe to her channel and let her know that I sent you. And if you're new from Holly's channel, welcome. I'm so excited to have you here. I do lots of decorating videos here on my channel and I also sprinkle in some homemaking content here and there, like get it all done videos, shop with me videos, going into stores, picking out decor. And we are also, like I said, building our house as well. Now I'm incorporating some of those videos in showing you guys our home as it's getting built and we're about to start picking out lots of design stuff. So it's going to be really fun. I've got a ton of content that's going to be rolling out back to back here pretty soon once things start picking up. Our sheetrock is just about to get finished. So from then it'll be painting and then it'll be on. So I'm really excited for the next coming months with our house. So I'd love it if you stuck around and subscribed to my channel. Let me know if you're new down in the comments below so I can give you a proper welcome. Okay, without further ado, let's go into the living room and start decorating. All right, here is the overview of our living room. You can see it is a hot mess right now, but we're gonna make it look all cozy. I'll give you guys a little rundown of all the things that I have. If you missed my decor haul, I'll share that down below. Archie, what are you doing? Don't be eating mama's leaves. Come here. Here he comes. Look how big he's getting. Isn't he so cute? Hi, baby. I just ordered him a fall collar and leash. You're gonna look so handsome. He's also dressing up with Brooks for Halloween. They're gonna be Tom and Jerry. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, back to decorating. So I've got a few pillows. I love this pumpkin here. I think it's so cozy. It's not a pumpkin pillow. It's just, um, it has a regular stem on it. So it was from Home Goods. And then I have my neutral decor. I've played around with all of it just a little bit, but it's going to be just very neutral, very cozy, calming. I'm gonna do a few different looks for the coffee table. And then here are the pictures for the gallery wall that I'm gonna do. I just printed them out at Walgreens and I picked up the picture frames from Target. I will say that this size of frame was really hard to find. Um, I went to three different Targets and was only able to find four of them. I actually ended up buying two more, but they were a smaller size. When I got them home, I realized it. So I'm gonna work with four. I really wish I had more for this wall. Since we moved in, I've just left it blank, but I feel like it needs something there. And then Kirkland's had this blanket ladder on clearance for, I think it was $50. So, and then I went back and I actually seen that the green tag clearance was an extra 25% off. So if you like this blanket ladder, check out Kirkland's, that's where I got it. And then yesterday, I didn't share this in the decor hall, but I did pick up this pillow at Target. I love it. I love the plaid. You just can't be a good plaid for fall. So anyways, let's get to styling. <laughs> There's so many dust bunnies. Oh my gosh. I guess it's been a while since I've cleaned this off. <laughs> Whoops. If 
you guys have these bookshelves, they're just from Target. Um, I've had them for a couple of years now. But if you light candles under them, which I honestly haven't done in a while, I don't burn candles very often anymore. But me and Taylor noticed the other night that look, they leave like black rings on the bookshelf. Look at this. See how dirty? I don't know if you can see it on camera. Oh, that one's really bad. <laughs> that one's really, really bad. Um, looks like that's it. So make sure to clean under your bookshelves if you um, light candles or have in the past. Like I said, I haven't even done it very much, but you can see all the black on there and I didn't notice it until we were sitting on the couch and like could see at the perfect angle. So just a little tip, check underneath your bookshelves. black oh my gosh i'm gonna get a new towel and then wipe the coffee table off and our little side table good thing about having a small space is you don't have that much to clean okay before i get started decorating i'm going to fix these two wires that are hanging down i just have some of this clear I don't even know what you call it. It's just adhesive tape basically, but it's like heavy duty. It can hold like shelves on the wall. So I'm going to just put this onto the back of the TV and then stick those cords to it and hopefully they won't fall down anymore. All right, let's start with the bookshelves. I'm gonna do this one more talk through style versus voiceover. Let me know which one you prefer. Do you like the voiceover of me decorating like I did in the kitchen? Or do you like more casual style, me just showing you the decor and talking through it? So this picture is from Hobby Lobby. I've had it for probably a year now and I always style it up on the bookshelf. I feel like it's pretty neutral and it will go good with fall. Um, some of the houses are kind of fall colored and it's just a neutral piece. So I'm gonna put this on the top shelf. And I'm just gonna let that piece be the focal point for that shelf. The rest of the shelves, I'm gonna pair like two different things on each just to kind of balance it all out. So I picked up this candlestick holder from Target this year. This is from the Hearth and Hand line. It's kind of a brass color. Um, I love it and I actually have some kind of like mustardy colored candlesticks that I'm gonna put in here whenever I need to use it for like the dining room or if I wanna ever put it on the coffee table and actually light the lights. But for now, we're just going to stick it up on the shelf and it'll serve as some decor. If you've been following me for a while, you know I love my pottery pieces. So I have this one here. This was a clearance find from Hobby Lobby a few years ago. I love it, it's just a little jug. And then this was a thrift store DIY that I did last year. I think it was for fall actually. So I do have a video showing how I did this. So I'm going to just kind of stagger these and group these together on the other side. I picked up two of these baskets from Hobby Lobby. They were part of the Spring Shop line and I got them when they were, I believe, 66% off. May have been 75% though. It was really affordable. And I thought these would be good layering pieces. So I have one basket for this shelf and then I have another basket that's a little bit larger for the other one. And I'm gonna put some pumpkins in here. So I've got this basket and I'm gonna put this pumpkin in from Target. It's just a little ceramic pumpkin. I love this color, it's very neutral. And then my mom had some leftover pumpkins that she didn't use for her decor this year that I thought were really cute. They're nice and little and they're kind of like wool dryer balls in a sense. And I think they're really cute. They add a nice texture to them. So I have eight of them I'm gonna also place in the basket. So here they are. I just put the bigger one in the corner and then filled the rest with those little pumpkins. 
For the other side, I have this vase and it has some faux florals in there. This was from Home Goods. I absolutely love that mustard yellow, but it's like very toned down. And this was such a steal. It was $10 for both pieces. It just like came as one. And I love this. It's a pretty good size as well. So I'm gonna put that next to the basket. For the next shelf, I'm gonna add some books. I have this Cozy White Cottage book from Liz Marie, and I have this Feels Like Home book, and I think they're both really pretty. They're very neutral. I'm gonna layer these together, and then I'm gonna put this container on top. It's wood tone, and it has this marble top on it. Here you can see it a little bit better. This was a clearance find from TJ Maxx, so I've had this for a while, and then it has the marble top so this will tie in good with the fall colors i think and then one of my favorite hobby lobby finds of all time are these wooden little vases and i have three of them here all different sizes so we have a bigger one more of a medium sized one and then one that's more of like a circle and i'm just going to place these all together. They say groupings of odd numbers is better than even. I don't follow that too strictly, but I do feel like it does look better. For the bottom, I like to keep this big basket from Home Goods, and I have a big fluffy blanket in here that we can grab in the evenings. I'm just gonna place this basket in here and just kind of tilt it to the side. And then I'm gonna put this fluffy, cozy pillow on the bottom right next to it. You guys, Archie just got a hold of this pumpkin. So I did have eight, now I have seven because <laughs> he got a hold of this one and completely destroyed it. <laughs> okay, for the other shelf on the top, I wanted to have more of a statement piece because the picture on the other side is pretty tall. So I have this jug here. This was a thrifted find, or it's actually from an antique store. So I'm going to place this up here and we're gonna create a little vignette with some old books. Okay, here's the ones that I have that are kind of fall colored. So here's the back. I love the bindings on these. They definitely fit in with the fall colors. These were all from like flea markets. They were really affordable. A lot of times antique stores will have old books, but they're so pricey. So I just wait and try to find them for good deals at barn sales and just things like that. So I'm going to layer these three books. I'm gonna show the binding because I think this is so cute. I think that just looks so patinaed and pretty. So I'm gonna place that next to the vase. And then I picked up this little box from Hearth and Hand. It was on clearance for $6.99. It was originally $10, so I picked this up probably the end of summer. I'm gonna use this to kind of anchor those books. For the next shelf, I'm gonna add a few more books. These ones are newer books. Um, Actually, this one's old. This one was a thrifted find. And then this one is from Sid and Shay McGee. It's Make Life Beautiful. I just took the cover off. So it's like navy and black. Since I stood these books up, I'm going to lay these ones down and I'm going to put a little pumpkin and a little arrangement on top. Here's the little arrangement. I used one that was a little bit bigger, but the same style in my kitchen. And then here's the little pumpkin. It's the same color and type as the one I put on the other side of the bookshelf. It's just smaller. On the other side of the shelf, I'm going to put another pottery piece. I'm not gonna put anything in this one. I'm just going to place it on there. There's a patina on this one as well. It was actually from Hobby Lobby too. Hobby Lobby has some good pieces like this every now and then. Um, and it was originally $19.99 and I'm sure I got it half off, if not on clearance. This next shelf is probably one of my favorites. I'm gonna put this little landscape art piece this was a clearance Hobby Lobby find, $2.49 for this little picture. I think the colors look like fall. It's very muted and neutral. 
So I'm gonna place this in the center. And then I have these two candlesticks. Both are from Hobby Lobby. This one here was in the fall section and this one was in the regular candlesticks. And then I picked up these candlesticks. They're a little bit shorter. They were only like 70 cents each. So I grabbed two of them. I think they were 70 cents and then half off. So such a good deal. And I like that they're shorter so they'll fit underneath the bookshelf. So I'm gonna place these next to the picture frame. I'm gonna put the larger one on the outside and then stagger the shorter one on the inside. For the other side of the picture frame to kind of balance it all out, I have this little vase. This was another clearance Hobby Lobby find, $2.49 for this one as well. It's kind of a brass colored on top and then has some of that like cement pottery looking bottom. And then I picked up some leaves from Hobby Lobby. They're just some brown neutral leaves. I haven't taken the price tag off yet. Here's the colors of them. I think they're pretty for fall. These are so affordable. They were in the fall pick section. They were $2.99 and then half off each. So $3 for two stems. I'm just going to place them inside of this little vase. I'm just gonna place this next to that picture. Like I said, I have another basket like this that I'm gonna place on this side of the bookshelf. This one's a little bit bigger, so it's more of a statement. So I'm gonna use a bigger pumpkin to put inside of it. I have this one from Hobby Lobby. It's like braided yarn material. Here it is, I think it's so pretty. It has some twigs for the stem and it's kind of like an oatmeal color. So I'm gonna layer this pumpkin with this little DIY terracotta pumpkin that honestly didn't turn out so great, <laughs> but you're not really gonna see it in the basket, so I'm gonna use it anyways. I'm gonna try to recreate some. I tried to do like the DIY stem, that's a better view. Um, but the pumpkin was already orange, here's the color of it. And I did the terracotta and then I used flour to like give it that distressed look. But I made the stem and it kind of cracked and like pulled up. So I've got to try this out again, but for now it'll be fine in that little basket because it's kind of hidden. Then I'm gonna add this stem to kind of tie it all together um, and just lay it in the basket. So that's so busy, I think I'm just going to place it in the center and call it good, especially since I have a basket for the bottom. So this basket here houses my computer and all of my um, just random stuff that I need. I have my Bible in here, my planner, highlighters, and you really can't tell when it's down at the bottom. Um, so I'm just going to tuck this in. And then I'm going to place this vase with nothing in it right beside it, just so it evens out the pumpkin on the other side. Okay, now that the shelves are done, I feel like the mantle is pretty bare. So we're gonna add just some minimal decor to this area. Last year at our last home, I did like this big pix arrangement that like spilled off. But this year I just wanna keep it more simple since we are in a smaller space. I feel like it can get cluttered really quickly if I have florals like all over. So I'm gonna keep it pretty minimal. You can't go wrong with books. So I have a few more. This one here is the Homebody book from Joanna Gaines. I've gotten so many ideas for our new home from this book. So I love having inspiring books just out where I can grab them. And then this is just an old thrifted book here. And you can tell it's like really old pages, really pretty. I'm just going to layer these up and then I'm going to put a pumpkin on top. This one is also from Target, but it's a rust color with a cream top. This is probably my favorite pumpkin this year. I think it's so pretty. So I'm just gonna put this on top of those books. For the other side, I wanna bring in some of that brown color. So I have a basket that was thrifted and I have more of those Hobby Lobby leaves. So I will take the price tag off of these because you might be able to see them in this basket. Little collection of leaves, which Brooks and I have already started making our little collection of leaves. So I might continue to add some real ones in this basket as the season goes on. But I'm gonna set this over here in this corner 
nothing's blocking the TV. Um, I wanted to make sure of that. I'd love to make like a DIY frame TV frame for our TV, but I'm gonna wait until we're in our new house. Okay, I'm also going to place this wooden pumpkin next to the basket. I love this one. It's kind of wooden. It has a little gold top on it. I think it's super cute. It was from Home Goods, I believe. So I'm gonna place that just next to it. And then Taylor and I went to Magnolia, let's see, three years ago. And then we went again last year. We always go at fall time because we love Texas football. So we go to a Texas Longhorns game and then we'll spend a day or two at Magnolia. And that's just been kind of our tradition. I don't think we're gonna go this year, but maybe next year once our house is done. But I always pick up their fall candle whenever we go. And this is the Magnolia Amber candle. I've had this candle for three years now. And every time I burn it, it just takes me back to that trip and going into Magnolia and shopping and just seeing everything for the first time. It is so inspiring there. It's like the prettiest place ever, as you can imagine. But they had this candle burning whenever we were shopping at the Magnolia Home Store. And it just gives me all those nostalgic fall feelings. I also filmed last year whenever we went to Magnolia. So if you wanna see a fall shop with me at the silos from last year, I'll link that video down below. So I'm gonna put this candle here in the middle of the fireplace just to add something to kind of bring both sides in, but nothing too loud. And then when I light it at night, it's just so cozy. For our coffee table, I'm going to start out with this basket. This one is from Walmart. I'm just gonna place it in the center. And it's really easy to grab the handles and move it if we want to use the whole table for whatever coloring or doing Legos or stuff like that. So it's pretty practical. My focal piece is going to be this vase from Kirkland's with some dried floral in it. Um, I love this burgundy rust color. I think it ties in well with the rest of the decor. I absolutely love this vase. I got it when it was half off at Kirkland's. And then here is a close-up of the dried florals. I think it's so, so pretty. I love this color and I love this like combo. So I'm gonna place this first and then we'll kind of just work around it. I'm also going to add another rust pumpkin. This one's a little bit shorter than the one that I have on the fireplace mantle. Um, it's very cute. So I'm just gonna put this one right next to the vase. This is probably one of my favorite old books. Look how patinaed it is. It's like falling apart. It's a Webster's Practical Dictionary. So somebody really loved this. I'm sure there's lots of notes in here. Um, sometimes I just flip through it, but lots of words. And I don't know, I just think this is a really neat book. So I'm gonna place this here. I'm actually gonna flip it backwards. On top of the book, I'm gonna add another candle. Um, I don't love the sticker on this, so I'm just gonna flip it backwards. And this is like that amber glass. I don't have a ton of this this year that I'm decorating with, but I do love the scent of this soy candle. So I'm going to place this on the book. And then I have a little candle husher. This is just from Amazon. You can put this over your candle to put it out instead of having to blow it. And you can see I have some wax on there. Probably need to clean that off. But I'm going to just set that on the book also. And then that's it. Pretty simple little um, coffee table. But, but I'm gonna do multiple different looks for the coffee table because I have a few different vases and floral stems that I wanna use. And I like to just, I don't know, play around with decor, see which one I like the best. So I've got lots of reels and post ideas for over there. So stay tuned if you wanna see some more coffee table styling. For this little side table, I like to keep all of my books, devotionals, and things over there. I'm not gonna move any of that. You can't really see it, honestly, from the living room, so we're just gonna style on top. I picked up this lantern at Home Goods. It's gold, and I have an LED candle in here. It's just a rust-colored one. And then I have some more picks from Hobby Lobby that one there um, like I have on the bookshelf. I just have the candle placed in the middle. I'm going to place this over here. It just creates some cozy lighting at night. So I'm gonna have this one here. And then I'm also going to have our coasters over here. They're just plain marble coasters. And then I do have a diffuser that sometimes I will place right here but I'm gonna keep it pretty simple today. Okay, so for the picture frames, I put some post-its up on the wall just to kind of give me a reference of where to put the pictures. 
Obviously they're bigger than the little post-it notes. I did this one in the middle just so it would be like centered with that outlet. But I do have that blanket ladder that I'm planning on putting right here. So I kind of want it to be like centered with that. The coffee table is centered, but it's like, it's not centered to the wall, if that makes sense. I don't know. So I'm gonna hang, or not really hang, I'm gonna set my blanket ladder up. Okay, I like that placement of the blanket ladder. I feel like it ties those three pieces in together. It also kind of matches the bookshelves. So I like that um, and I like the placement of the post-its. Obviously they're not exact. I have some command strips that I'm going to attempt to hang them on. Hopefully I can get them straight and everything. I usually have Taylor do this sort of thing, but he's not here right now, he's at work, and I'm determined to make it happen. But he's very like precise and knows how to measure things out, um, but I'm just gonna wing it. I have a level, I've got command strips, we're gonna go for it. Okay, I love the picture frames so much. Made sure they were all level, which they were, and then stuck them on the wall. And I've just let the command hooks um, sit for a little bit and then put them back on. So this is the final look for that. All that's left, you guys, is the couch. So let's finish putting all the pillows together. I did have that floral pattern pillow, but I think I'm gonna put it on my bench in the entryway and then grab this plaid pillow from Target um, last year and I think this will complement this plaid a little bit better. So we're gonna play around with those, get the couch nice and cozy. I would love to make one of those pillow pumpkins. I'm sure you guys have seen them. I think For the Home made them last year. I know she was one of the people that showed how to make them. So maybe we'll do a DIY making a pillow pumpkin as well. I think they're so cute and super cozy. So I was at Home Goods and I did see an acorn pillow. And I almost got it, but I thought <laughs> it's a little cheesy. So I'll hold off. But since I got the acorn basket for the kitchen, I thought it would be fitting, but I resisted. <laughs> so maybe we'll make a pumpkin pillow, but let's style up these pillows together. Okay, I'm gonna start out with these two white pillows. These are from Target. They have a little bit of a pattern in them, like squares. I love these. I'm gonna put one on each side. I'm gonna put this other plaid pillow right next to this bigger one, just because this is a bigger space than that over there. And then I'm also going to put this one here. This one just is from Summer, it's from Walmart. It's just a pillow cover, but it has these little embroidered details on it. I think this would pass for fall too, so I'm gonna put it here. Maybe if we make a pumpkin pillow, we could put it right here, or even take this one out and put it there to kind of break up all of the cream. But I do like the neutral colors. This pillow here is from Target, and it's kind of a corduroy material. I love it, I love this color. And then again, the other plaid. So I'm gonna place this one here. I love the Barefoot Dream dupe blankets. This one is from Sam's Club. It's just a cream color. And I found these whenever they were $15 on clearance. So I like to just put one over the side of the couch here. I'll have to play around with how I want it to be styled. Sometimes I'll do it like this, where I'll just fold it up on the end. So I might do it like that. And just let it drape on the floor. My goodness, are you so sleepy? Are you a sleepy boy? Hi. You like all the pillows and the cozy stuff, huh? Yeah. All right, here's what the pillows look like. Maybe I should go back to Target and get another one of these. 
just to add in some color or I could try to find a similar color and a material for a pumpkin pillow and put it there instead. Or maybe I should just leave it like that. I almost like that. I feel like that looks pretty good and minimal. So maybe I'll do that since the blanket's here. You're so cozy. I think I'm gonna do that and I'll put this pillow with the floral one on the entryway bench. All right guys, this is the final look. I'm going to find a cute YouTube wallpaper for the TV, light my candles, and then I'll give you guys a little mini tour of how all of the little areas turned out up close. Fall backgrounds. May you always find your way to higher ground May you always keep your head held up high Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough Just the sight of you when I'm at my weakest point Makes a world of difference, oh, you make me strong Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough Ordering a cup of love Feel it rising up and above You will always keep my heart and soul strong your seeds and watch them grow the light will always know where to go you will always keep my heart and soul strong you're the first thing in the morning and the last Baby, you're my future and you are my past Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough Ordering a cup of love all right guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed decorating my living room with me today, getting it all cozy for fall. Again, if you want to get some more fall decorating inspo, I'll link Holly's video down below so you can give it a watch. You guys will absolutely love her. I got to meet her in Florida this year and it was so cool to like actually meet another YouTuber in person and she is the sweetest, her whole family is. So it was such a pleasure to get to meet her. Hopefully we'll be able to get together again in the future it would be so fun to have like a little youtube retreat of a bunch of different girls in this home space it would also be really fun to film it and just show what we're up to so maybe that will be a trip in the future holly and i talked about it on the trip how fun that would be so maybe one day we'll be able to make it happen but thank you guys so much for spending some time with me today i hope you have a very cozy fall season and i'll see you soon in my next video bye friends mm -hmm.